obviously we've got a problem with this bearing. 394 case, 6203 bearing, the cage is gone. So, so this inner race, unfortunately, uh, moves, which means how are you going to get it out? Um, you'd like to be able to tap it out or whatever, heat it up and tap it out, but can't do that. So what if we try a little experiment? What if we hold all the bearings equidistant and then tap it out? Maybe that'll work. How are we going to do that? I don't know. What would be nice is if I had a spare bearing cage, but I don't have that. How about little bits of quick steel? in between. Why not? Let's try that. Let's actually try something non-setting first. Like some plumber's putty. All we need to do is hold the bearings equidistant and even if you were shy some bearings, if they'd fallen out or whatever, um, you have to hold the bearings equidistant more or less around the thing so it grabs, that's all. Let's put a little bit of... this is just plumber's putty. I mean, bring the bearing around. Squish it on in. Bring another bearing around. So you're effectively creating a cage here with plumber's body. If you think about it, we use the inner race here in order to press on the inner race so we can put force on the outer race so we can knock the whole bearing out. And if the inner race is flopping, it ain't going to work. So you got to keep the inner race in the center. It's not going to be forced in this direction. It's not going to force them around and around. All you need to do is more or less hold them in the right spot. So now let's see. Oh, we got a seal on this side. Let's pop that out. Popped. That looks like an inner race that'll work. Maybe another inner race that'll work. Some threaded rod, some nuts, some washers. Hmm, now what? I have an idea. We'll use the other case half. Longer bolt. Put a longer bolt through there. Yeah, let's use the other case half. There you go. That washer will just cut it. Okay. It's a bigger washer than a little one. This is just some half inch threaded rod, some nuts and some washers. Probably five eight, a couple of half inch washers and some five eighths ones too. So nothing complicated at all. Gotta get it centered. And now ensuing the ball bearings are fairly equidistant, you should be able to press on this. Let's see. You can see in here. Just got the rod there, and I don't have the, even have the positioners in here. I don't even know if this will work. So you hold hold the nut on this side, and you can see I've just got some uh, spacers there. Hold the nut this side, and crank her on down.
don't want any rotational force on this. So you don't want to move the balls out of alignment. You're not going to believe it. it works. You're just not going to believe it. Just not going to believe it. You watching this? You seeing that come out? Ladies and gentlemen, we just did it. Cold pressing a bearing out. That was all buggered. There was no hope of getting this. Are you seeing that? <laughs> there she is. So, it's out of there. You're gonna have to clean that up, obviously. Look at it. Yeah, see what we did. A couple of spacers. These are just old inner races. Here's the bearing. So as long as those balls are fairly equidistant from each other, it doesn't ma matter how well or poorly they're, they'll, they're held, they will still hold the inner race to the outer race, and you'll be able to press that out. With just some good old fashioned plumber's putty. How's that? I thought I'd quick steal it, super glue something. Nope, no need. Just good old plumber's putty's fine. So that's how you get a, that's how you cold press a bearing out that was buggered with plumber's putty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.